Have you been wondering how you can record your screen without spending money on expensive software like Camtasia? Like you are a teacher, you want to record your screen or your presentation, or as a coach, you want to do a software simulation for your audience. Worry no more. Because in this video, I am going to share with you how you can use a free software to do your screen recording without paying for anything. Hello everyone, my name is Pat Ubu. If you are ready, let's dive in. So the name of the software we'll be using is known as OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a free software. It doesn't cost anything. In fact, it's an open source software. All you need to do is to go to their website from OBS Project and download the software free of charge. I am going to put the link in the description box below. After downloading and installing the software, then you launch it. Immediately you launch it, this is what you are going to see. Before you start recording, you need to do some settings. Now, let's do the settings. What you will need to do first is to come to settings here and click on it. From general tab, you can read and make any changes here. But for me, I will leave everything the way they are here. Then, if you want to do live streaming, you can do that from here. But our objective is to record screen. So, I will come to output here and set it to simple. I do not need to use advanced settings. So, I will use simple and leave every other things the way they are. Apart from this particular place where it is asking me to put the part where my video will be stored after recording. So, I can browse to choose any folder of my choice that I would like to use. For this, I have created a folder known as OBS Studio where I want to be saving all my projects. So, you select the folder. After that, you go to Audio tab. From Audio tab, you can also leave everything the way they are. Otherwise, if you have external audio inputs, you can select them from here. The next thing is to click on video tab and you will choose the resolution for your video. Here I am using 1920 by 1080. Then OBS is choosing to scale it by 852 by 480. But I will have to change it so that it will match my own video resolution that I have selected. So I will leave both of them as 1920 by 1080. The next thing you will also need to do is to select hotkeys. For me, I have chosen to use F11 to start recording, F12 to stop recording, pause for F10, then F9 for on pause. This is what I will be using the shortcut keys to do if I don't want to use the mouse. Once I am done with these settings, I will click on apply, then OK it. After that, for me to start recording, I will need to choose the source where I want to record from. Remember, our intention is to record our screen. So, I will click on this plus button, then choose display capture. From display capture, I can give it a name or leave the name that it has suggested. Then click OK. After that, I will leave it this capture on automatic. Then I will also say capture my cursor movement. Then after that, I will click OK. And I am true with my settings. Now, to start recording, all I will need to do is to click on this start recording button. Once I click on it, the OBS will start to record immediately. As you can see, this mouse movement is also being recorded. And I can record this simulation and post it for my students or anybody that I am teaching. So this is how to do screen recording. When you are through, you can use the hotkey to stop the video or you just open the OBS studio and click on stop recording. So OBS is stopping the recording. This may take time depending on the speed of your computer and the length of the video. 
Now it has finished stopping the recording. The reason why it took some time to do that is because I am using another screen recorder to record OBS software itself. So because of that, it took some time to do that stopping of recording. If you want to know the software that I use to record OBS, request for it on the comment section and I will freely give you the name. The next thing I will do is to open the video that I have recorded. So I will go to the place where the video is stored. And I have other videos that I've recorded. That is why you can see them here. So I will open the video. This is how to record screen with OBS. If you got value, please share it with others. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Remember to like the video so that YouTube will show it to others. If you are facing challenges like blank screen after recording, I have also made a video that will teach you how to fix this. The link is in the description box below. Until next time, keep learning.